Hey besties and welcome back to my channel. Welcome back for a brand new video. So I feel like I'm introing this so late. I wasn't looking the vibe this morning so I was like Shannon you're not introing it so I didn't intro and then I just realised like, it's seven o'clock and I just realised Shannon you need to like do the intro to the freaking video. So for today's video you guys have been loving the vlog so I thought I would come back and do a little realistic kind of realistic <laughs> day in the life of an influencer. I don't like saying the word influencer but I mean that's the best way to describe it. So I brought you along in my productive-ish day. I just love filming like chilled videos, chatting to you guys, bringing you guys along in my life because obviously at the moment I'm not at uni. See, I am working full-time as a content creator. I feel like I'm a fair content creator. So I really hope you guys do enjoy this video. If you do then please make sure to give it a big thumbs up, subscribe down below and yeah let's just let's cut to this morning where like I say she's not she's not looking cute. Good morning I'm literally out in like a crop top and shorts and the the weather she isn't that nice today it's currently 20 past nine so we have got a busy freaking day ahead and i mean this is gonna this is like a realistic day in my life slash getting my shit together i know only a couple of days ago i uploaded getting myself back to feeling like me and i mean i'm back feeling like shan but the life is definitely not back and in order so that's what we're gonna be doing today i've got so much to do just need to go and return this pretty little thing parcel and then i think i'm gonna go and get a sunbed i think i'll probably only just go on for like nine minutes i haven't been going on them that much recently at all i've been trying to like phase it out but because i'm going to ibiza i just want to have a, like a nice holiday tan and then i am gonna be going back to fake tan guys even it real i'm freaking scared to go back to fake tan life because i've been enjoying my skin having like this like color but Sunbeds so bad for you guys, I would not recommend them at all. Let's go, let's go get shit done. It's the white socks and black shoes for me. Haven't actually returned any parcels yet because there was no space. So still haven't done that, which I don't think I'm gonna feel accomplished today until I've returned all my parcels. <laughs> sunbed complete i am now gonna head to tesco's because i've got to get something mum's 40th birthday next week and i'm giving her her present today like a week early because we're getting this treatment where we, we basically both need to drink like seven six or seven cups of water a day which i drink none so that's gonna be fun i'm at tesco's so me and my mum are getting a treatment i can't remember exactly what it's called it's called like colonic hydrotherapy i'll talk to you guys about it what it actually is later in case you don't know just being quick because my camera has got one bar of battery so i need to basically go and get her something that says you're getting colonic hydrotherapy so i don't know if it's just get a card and just leave it at that and just write it in it but i'm gonna go to tesco see what they have i think i was speaking to my granddad like a week ago and he was like you should get like a hose pipe end because obviously the treatment is you basically get a tube up your ass. I will go into detail later. Um, it's basically meant to be really good for you. So I feel like I've just left it with such a clear camera. Right, I might as well just explain. You get a tube up your ass. I think, I don't know the ins and outs. All I know is that like they fill up your small intestine with water or something. And it clears out all the bad toxins and like all of that in your body. So like when... So if you eat like a lot of bread, you might have a bit of like yeast build up. It's like a web, they say. It looks like a bit of a web. And you just like shit it all out. <laughs> that's my mum's birthday present but i'm really excited to get it done as well because i bloat really badly so i'm hoping this is gonna clear me out a bit the car's just not gonna hit the same because it's gonna be an early birthday so i might put in like maybe even just something like that and just put like a little arrow and put early in it for some reason i thought it'd be easy to find a hose pipe in tesco's but i don't think so then i saw these candles but I'm just like, the candle has no resemblance. So I'm home, I've been home for maybe like two hours. I've been trying to like sort out and organize my room. And although it feels like I've done a lot, it looks like I've done nothing. I'm just currently sitting, editing the podcast video in case any of you were wondering. Shan basically edits the podcast audio and I do the YouTube video, but the YouTube video, the podcast goes up at 6 a.m. and the YouTube video doesn't go up until 6 p.m. Yeah, I basically just sit here and listen to our shit, shit um, but I'll link the podcast down below. If you haven't already listened, then make sure to go and check it out and subscribe to the YouTube. Hi, this was my signature hairstyle a while back and now I'm just, I'm obsessed with it, but as you can see, like I'm going to O Beach right now <laughs> I'm on holiday. I just had to film this ad for O'Polly. Doing a little collab with Tanologist, so I just filmed a little TikTok with them. But this is their new like Nina swim collection. How freaking unreal. Like I say, they're doing a collab with Tanologist. So I have just put tan on me for the first time ever. Like I just put like the face drops on, which to be fair, I'm actually quite excited. I hope it doesn't mess up my skin too much. I was deeping. I wore fake, I've worn fake tan religiously for like three years, I'd say. And it's never broken out my skin once. So do you think ever, and then ever since I've stopped wearing fake tan on my face, my skin's broken out. Do you know, I honestly thought that would be the opposite way around. Maybe tan's the answer. Maybe tan's the only thing that clears up my skin. Wow, I really like I'm glowing. Don't know if this will still be 
available when this video goes up tomorrow but they are actually giving away free 15ml bottles of the Tanologist face and body drops if you purchase anything from this collection so if you are going on holiday you want to keep bikini we're gonna be wrapping Rashan, <laughs> wrapping Rashan. I'm actually so good right I'm gonna be wrapping my mum's present early present and we're gonna do it together I'm not very good at wrapping and I actually spent 10 pounds on all the wrapping compartments which when I paid for that I was like that's ten pounds. That's ten pounds, Shannon. That's like half an hour. <laughs> I am joking. It's all for the effect. I like to be extra, so because I realistically didn't need to spend ten pound on all of this. We will. We will come to the card later. So I got this like cardboard box, and then I got some gold tissue paper. This cute pink wrapping. I actually hate wrapping. And that's what I got. Oh, and then. So like I say, we're getting that colonic hydrotherapy. I think that's what it's called. I think that's what it's called. That's what I'm going to call it, but I don't actually know really the ins and outs. So her clue that I'm going to wrap up in this box in tissue paper is a bike pump, dual action pump. That's going to be her clue. She's going to have no idea, but I don't know. I say she's going to have no idea. She might surprise me and like, no. So we're going to wrap the pump first. It's going to create more mess in my messy room. And I still, this is the thing with me, is I'm such a half job person, so I still haven't finished editing the podcast. But I want to do this before my mum comes home from work. I'm gonna have myself a real good time. Serious, does anyone, let me know down below if you like rapping or not. If you like rapping, do you want to come rap for me please? I only have to wrap up on one thing to be fair. I'm gonna do the old rolling method. I am so bad at wrapping. I hope, oh, I think I might have wrapped it too big. I don't know if it's gonna, I don't know if it's gonna fit in the bark. I need to see if this fits. If this doesn't fit. <laughs> the pump did fit in the box, but now it's wrapped, it doesn't. Okay, maybe I'll fold it. Okay, I've folded it. <laughs> I folded it over, I'm not rewrapping. I honestly thought I was gonna have to rewrap then. I'm not rewrapping. Okay, then we'll get some gold tissue paper. Because I mean, that looks really good. <laughs> Do a little scrunchy business. This effort for a freaking bike pump. Might as well use all three sheets. <laughs> that looks so good. Guys, I forgot I've got to wrap the box. I don't have to wrap the box, but I feel like for the effect, I should probably wrap the box. I've successfully wrapped a box. I'm proud of myself. I actually probably should find out what the treatment's called before I write the card. What's just turned up? I have a delivery from Beauty Bay and I actually have no freaking clue what this is. I think I'm on their PR list, which is kind of crazy. I literally used to be like a Beauty Bay obsessed. This is exciting. It literally feels like Christmas. PR for their new mood palette. Oh my God. Oh my God. I don't know if you guys can see, there is so much in here. Okay, so I'm just gonna go for it. So we've got these get your gem on these like decorative jewels these are kind of cool i feel like this is something that's always like good to have like you never know when you're gonna need it but like it's good to have you are lying i'm so buzzed about this it's a six piece eye brush set and i've been doing more eyeshadow looks recently and i don't have any like proper nice like eyeshadow brushes wow oh my god stop it how unreal do all of them look we have this crystal set i've never had crystals before and it says affirmation my dreams and wishes have come true it says select three crystals in the morning and focus on the affirmation and chant six times in your mind keep your crystals close to you throughout the day why am i going to kind of do this then we have a beauty bay eye base oh my god stop it we have a plumping lip gloss why does that just look actually like beautiful then we have the rose quartz facial roller i don't actually have one of these yet so that's gonna be really fun we all know i've been really loving my skincare games so this is gonna be up in my skincare game we've got these really cute little eye patches these eyelashes also look unreal like how fluffy and wispy do they look we've got the psychic sisters i feel like i've heard of psychic sisters before that's the people it's the same brand as the crystals, but I really feel like I've heard of them. And this is the power candle. That smells unreal. And finally, we have the new Beauty Bay New Mood palette. And it also has a little ring. You no, know, did anyone else used to have these rings growing up? I used to I used to have one of these. And when you put it on your finger, it senses the mood that you're in. So shall we see what colour it goes? I don't have a piece of paper to say, wait. Or is that green or blue? What are we saying? Energy or serenity? Or maybe a mix of both. The palette fully looks incredible right now. I'm not even joking. Do you want to take a look? I'm loving this because it has neutrals and also pops of colour and I'm so here for like a pop of colour in the inner corner. Thanks so much to Beauty Bay for sending this out to me. I'm actually 
obsessed. I can't wait to use everything. I mean, healthy eating's going on. My auntie made these and like brownies with like marshmallows on. It actually looks unreal. In a minute, she's looking cute. It's seven o'clock and she's finally put some makeup on. To be fair, I've had like a lot of stuff to do today, but I'm gonna spend the evening filming a few TikToks just for some brown work. I've got a TikTok to film. I've got another TikTok to film for Oh Polly. I've got a TikTok to film for Boohoo. I'm also gonna do a little PLT TikTok as well. My room... I really made an effort to try and tidy it and it's not tidy and it's really stressing me out. I'm out of my favourite lip pencil ever so excuse my lips because I really don't like them. I don't know where Sweetheart's gone. I had like three and I don't know where they've all disappeared to. I'm taking some selfies. That's why I had these earrings in because I was like, do you know what they need to... I need to look a little bit more extra but now I'm going to swap them out. But well, I've finally just been able to upload the podcast. It was taking ages to do the checks. Just letting you know sometimes the videos are late is because YouTube sometimes decides to just absolutely long it with like the checks of the video so it won't let me upload it. But finally she's up. So like I say, make sure to go and check it out if you haven't already. Oh, and I also filmed a TikTok get ready with me for this makeup look. Now we will just take a minute for this O Polly top. I'm gonna film some TikTok, so I thought I'd give you guys a little bit of behind the scenes. I mean, I'm not really doing much right now other than just like standing and sitting cute. <laughs> I don't even know if you guys could hear that TikTok sound that I was dancing to. I just had to fucking break out to a drive and at some point I'm not leaving that in. You will never see that. Fun fact about me, I used to do warm and dancing. I remember dancing to that song. I stopped doing it. The thing is when COVID happened, obviously I stopped. If someone honestly said to me, what's your biggest regret in life? I honestly think it'd be not going back. But then I'm like, things don't pass me by in life. I was since very interested in this podcast and I was like, things don't pass you by in life. So maybe it wasn't meant to be. But I actually, I miss it so much. I thought we could do a little get unready with me, but then get ready with me because I am going to get unready, but then get re ready to go to Cal's. I'm literally going to Cal's to sleep. I basically stay at Cal's pretty much every night because one, there's no room in my fucking bed to sleep. Two, I also don't have my TV up on the wall yet. And I mean, if you know, you know, watching TV on your laptop is just not the same. And because his room is clean, spotless, it is just so much easier to go and stay at his. So we're gonna get on ready to get re-ready. In case you don't already know, I have mentioned it in one of my other videos. I am actually getting a new wardrobe unit here. It's gonna go next to this one because I do not have enough room for all my belongings. I'm not going to lie to you either. I think I may need to have a cold shower because I think the sunbed has burnt me earlier. See when I first started going on sunbeds I used to like burn and that's like kind of how you build up your colour because I'm literally pale as a freaking ghost. I have not like experienced what I'm experiencing right now since the first time I had like since like the first times I was going on sunbeds. I've got a new machine which is a mega sun which I've been on mega suns at uni and stuff but more fancy in my opinion than the one I went on today. And I went on for eight minutes. Eight minutes has finished me. I go on for 16 sometimes. Or like 12. And when she said eight, I was like... I got out of the sunbed and I thought, oh my god, that's literally done nothing. Like, really wish I went on for longer. I'm so glad. Thank you to the woman in the sunbed shop. I'm sorry for judging you. Because I'm so glad I have gone on for eight minutes. Because I'm just like red. I don't even think you guys are going to be able to see. I actually love having my hair in a slick pony now. I think it's probably one of my favourite hairstyles. Like, what's everyone's opinions? I feel like it needs to be a little bit longer or at least a little bit thicker. I just don't think it's cute at this kind of like length. That could just be me doing it, which is probably what's happening. We haven't been in this position for like three videos in a row. I'm not going to go into detail with my skincare routine again because I need to have a shower anyway. But I am going to try the Inky List um acid brightening cleanser today i just thought that would be really fine i'm just gonna take off the main bit of my makeup and then i'm gonna have a shower Which, to be fair i could just do this in the shower can i i don't need to do it have a shower with because you all need to know this <laughs> you don't i'm gonna use the treacle moon brazilian love body scrub this smells incredible guys you can get this in like tesco's asda I kindly gifted it to me at the event i went to the other day oh my god you need to try the scent. They said this is like their best scent scent. It smells divine. And we're gonna find out if I still smell divine after the shower. And then I've also got the body wash in it. So if you wanna know what I smell, oh my God. That smells so good. If you wanna know what I smell like, I smell like this. I'm gonna show you guys how red my back is, by the way. <laughs> That's not okay. <laughs> Why, why have I literally burnt? Like, I should be a, like, this shouldn't be a problem right now. This is my outfit to go to Cal's. I don't even think it goes or looks cute. I love wearing hoodies more than anything. Like, I'm not excited for winter, like, cold winter, but I'm excited for hoodie season. Does this go? I don't know. Do you know what? I'm probably going to just chuck on my Ugg slippers as well because I just wear them everywhere. Now it really doesn't go. Now I just look fucking ridiculous. 
Maybe some Nike socks would make it look cute. Then I'm like, I'm literally just going to Cows. So from Zara, by the way, jumper is Miss Pan. I'm literally just going to go to Cows and go to bed now, pretty much. We usually chill and watch Frank on TV. At the moment, we've been watching like four in a bed, which is so random. But I really hope you guys did enjoy this video. Sorry it was a little bit... I hope it was interesting and not really boring. But I just didn't want to film like another haul. And I have some really exciting videos planned. But I basically have to go out and get the stuff for it. So tomorrow is the day... When me and Cal heading into Cambridge, I'm getting some bits for some videos I want to film. So fun content is coming, but I know you guys love like the chilled vlog vibes. So I really hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, then please make sure to give that big thumbs up, subscribe down below. If you do have any video requests, then comment them down below, message me on Instagram. And thank you all so much for watching.